So for anybody wondering where I've been, or what's been happening uh, in the few months that I've not posted, as you can tell, the phone is on the folder. And, uh, well, my truck is not fixed. The folder was broken because something in the carburetor was broken with my throttle. So, kind of, I got to get in the carburetor practically because the piece is stuck in the carburetor. Please move and stop talking. Please. Go play with Bryce. I got stuck babysitting once again. That sucks. But, in the meantime, I'm going to be buying a new fooler uh, next summer. So, for the meantime, I am going to be recording with the Yamaha. And we sold the Outlaws. I got a new GoPro Hero 9. That which is with my uncle up in Florida at Iron Force. So that, he's making a video for me because I couldn't go because I had school. And school is much more important than motor riding. <coughs> Said no one ever. Uh, but yeah, a lot has actually happened. So as we can take a look here, the snorkel's been cut, painted, etc. Oh, and I got a new phone if y'all couldn't tell. It's very nice. Uh, Slap on 12 Pro Max. Just saying. Uh, Fuller's been no, back on socks. And that's pretty much it. And it's kind of kind of hard to ride it on stocks. I'm going to show you what it's actually doing right now. Um, i got to hurry up and turn it off whenever I do. So I'm going to set this up about right here. It ain't going to stand. I can't see it about the battery. I'm not sure what it's going to do. Set it up there. Well, it's actually island, so you can hear it. I wasn't touching throttle, and it's just throttle's messed up and it's stuck, so you can't ride it. Oh, I mean, unless you're retarded and want to go for it, then go for it. But I'm not stupid, and I like I like being safe. I'm gonna flip this around. I like being safe over a lot of things. This fooler right here is definitely not safe, uh, but the one I'm buying is definitely not going to be safe either. Yeah, in case everybody's been... Nah, I need to flip today. In case everybody's wondering where I've been, though, uh, I've just been doing my own thing. Uh, getting my stuff together. That is actually the recording machine for when I go to Boggs and I'm not riding the fool. And uh, that's another thing. I'm not going to be making nothing but fool videos. Oh, the truck. It's running. I don't think y'all have seen this truck uh, since, I don't think I've seen this truck in a while. Ever since January? Last January? Yeah, like that, as you can tell. New carburetor, new plug wires, headers, and uh, they go down into a three inch pipe into a Flowmaster Super 10. You already know it. Which this ain't running right now either. Cause, well, my wires burn up. That goes to my alternator, so I gotta rewire that, pull all that out, and I'll redo it. Just don't feel like doing it right now. Don't have the time to do it either. But yeah, that's pretty much where I've been. Uh, nothing much has really changed. Besides, I sold the Outlaws. Kind of, I regret it every now and then, but at the same time, I don't. Uh, because the footage that my dad didn't record on that last video, um, the fuller, I, I hit another hole, and uh, it was thick. And the forward didn't turn them, and then I got really PO'd at it because I mean, at that time I was expecting way too much out of that little fuller, little 400 engine single cylinder, you know, just a weak engine, not made for big tires, for big heavy tires like that. Not talking bad on nothing, it just needs lighter tires like Zillas or just something smaller, 25 inch tire range, something like that. Uh, that's probably going to be my plan. I'm probably going to put it on Zillas uh, on the stock wheels. Because I'm not going to be doing much with this fooler besides riding at Boggs. Uh, I don't use it over here much. I'm trying to think. I mean, I ain't nothing much to it. I make a few truck videos every now and then. Uh, but I didn't record us doing the carburetor, the, any of that. I need to record a startup, but I can't because the alternator's all jacked up. Well, not the alternator, but the wire to the alternator. 
Oh, man, that camera looks good. Um, because I'm just looking at it right now, and I'm like, oh, quality. For once. Because, you know, the iPhone 7 wasn't, uh, the nicest thing of all. If y'all wonder why I'm, like, looking over here, it's because I'm, like, used to looking at myself, and then not at the camera. And then it's kind of wonky. But I still have to, uh... I gotta fix those two things. I'm about to order a new carburetor for the four wheeler, redo all that, and it'll be running again. Maybe take it to Boggs before it gets cold, cold. Because weather in Alabama is bipolar. It's like hot, cold, hot, 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 cold. Then it just continues. And then it gets cold, and then it stays cold. Then it gets back to hot. Which hopefully by the next time that it gets really hot, we'll have a new four wheeler. Uh, in case you're wondering what I'm getting, uh, as y'all know, k and recently released the 2022 lineup, and that's what I will be getting. I will be getting a Renegade 1000. I'm going to be getting the Liquid Platinum and Magma Red color. I'm not going to get the, uh, I think it's Desert Tan, the Carbon Black, or what, I think they switched the Desert Tan to, uh, another color i'm not exactly sure on what color it is but i think it's a black and uh some kind of tan that they that they're using on the outlander 850 xmrs and the 570s and i know something new that they did this year was i think the 570 mr which wasn't the xmr it was the mr which i don't really understand it because it looks just like the xmr just i don't i think it's still snorkel and stuff i think it's just missing i don't know how that thing actually is uh I really don't want to. For the shortest time, I was going to buy a 570, but then I was like, but I really want a 570. I want to turn big tires. I'm not going to say what I'm going to do to the fuller because that just ruins it. I'm just saying what fuller I'm getting. I wanted to, I was going to get an Outlander 850, but then I was like, nah, every other person has that. And it's like, that's just boring. You don't see a lot of Renegade YouTubers besides Renegade. Braden Pice really don't uh, upload with his that much. Like, J.P. Stephens, he has a Renegade... I mean, not a Renegade. He has an Outlander 850. Uh, I'm waiting for him to upload some more. Definitely with his folder. Uh, that that would be nice. I do like watching his vlog, so... Uh, Renegade has a bad Renegade down here. Uh, I think he has one of the baddest Renegades down in the South. In Alabama. In my personal opinion. I was going to make a video with him sometime. Uh, while we were at Boggs in that... All right, so I made a box on Memorial Day. I made a box video on Memorial Day of the mega trucks and stuff, and I lost all of my content. So I was trying to transfer it to this phone, and I lost it somehow, and uh, it just all got screwed over. And Renegade was there, but I didn't get to film anything with him because he passed by when I was hooking up ropes with the trucks because, you know, we had to go in a pond. We had to go into the uh, pond that has a boat in it. I'm not sure what y'all like to call it. I just call it the boat pond because it has a boat in it. Uh, we decided to go in there, uh, got stuck. For anybody that does want to go in there, um, it's not really deep water. It's very, very, like, it's very muddy. It's nothing but mud and silt. Uh, it's, it's deep, but at the same time, it's like, it's mud. If you get what I'm saying, a lot of mud takes over the water. Um... And I've seen Hondas go out there, and they've water wheelied around that boat and stuff. So, I mean, if y'all want to go out there, you can go ahead and do it. I ain't going to do it. Uh, I've been thinking about rebuilding the top end of that fuller, but I don't really think I'm going to do that because too much money. Just Why I spend money on that whenever I'm going to buy a new one next summer? And, uh, which, I'm about to start speeding up more uploads. As soon as I get my GoPro back and I get this fuller fixed, I'm going to start uploading more. The uh, issue, though to doing that is uh whenever winter comes around it's gonna slow down because it's cold and uh has weather cold weather and i don't do cold weather and uh i had to cut it because the kids were talking i'm babysitting today uh yeah it's definitely cold weather is not my thing and riding in cold weather I'm okay with a little bit of trail riding, hit a few holes, but whenever I get into the deep stuff that I like to get in, uh, whenever it's summertime and it's warm and I can get up to like here and water, I'm okay. I, I like that. But whenever it's cold and that's getting above your waders right there, uh-uh. See, because whenever I stand on this fuller, 
And uh, this four is actually a tricky ride with how I have my vent line set up. I, I'm about to redo this whole snorkel for anybody thinks that say, oh, it's ugly. Yes, I know I got to fix it and put another white one on because I got PVC out there and I could just cut it and I'll slap it on. So the complexity of these vent lines, so itch. Thanks to Dirt Dobbers, he uh, clogged it for me, which I need, it needed to be clogged anyways, because this is my intake. Uh, this goes into my hose. This is hose right here. And uh, whenever it does that, it takes in water. So on this four-wheeler, I can really only get up to the top of this vent line right here. That's for my gas cap, which I'm really not worried about that. And that has, uh, that's to the top end, actually. It runs right here goes over and it runs through this line right here goes from the top of the head it wraps around the piston comes back down and then you know, right there it has smoke blow out of it oh that's calling me oh uh, yeah it's nothing really complex to it i got three vent lines because i don't go all out i mean dad he owned this fuller back in 2002 this is the year model of the fuller this is 2002 brand new uh he bought it brand new and i think high lifter was just now making tires and you know doing that thing uh and so he had put 29s 29.5s and i would put a two inch bracket lift on it which i wasn't doing that so that's why i put the 28s and you know i had to cut the fenders because they just kept on rubbing i was like screw it if it rubs it, it rubs you know and, uh, bam. like if it rubs it rubs it does, you know, you just gotta cut them off and deal with it. Oh. I'm finding crack, I'm finding crack, oh, my voice cracked. Now, some of y'all also gotta get used to my voice cracks a lot now. You know, it's kind of embarrassing, but I used to, uh, I was finding build up, built up mud in these headlights, because I barely clean the thing ever. I clean it just enough. But, um, yeah, my uncle asked my girlfriend right now. He's filming a video at Iron Horse for me uh, with this mud truck. So hopefully I can get that video out. I just ordered a carburetor. Oh, see, there it goes again. I just ordered a carburetor off of eBay for this four-wheeler. So we can have it up and running in maybe a week or two. Have another video out. Go to box, maybe. Uh, there it went again. I'm going to be running the stocks for a little bit, though. That's another thing. Uh, but they do all right. I like them because I can spin them in second gear. That, that's the best part about these stocks. They do decent in mud, to be honest. Uh, for stock tires, they do good in mud. Same time we're talking about, you know, this 500, 600 pound forward that's, you know, hold on, let me see if I can pick it up. Yeah. This light four-wheeler, uh, you know, you don't really need much tread to push it through. Until you get into thick stuff, and then, you know, those tires are useless. And these tires don't clean whenever they're spinning, so you gotta be. That's another reason I don't like these tires. They don't. The rear tires don't clean. The front ones do, but then you know when the front ones do, you get pelted with mud. So, uh, pretty much that's really all that I had to catch up on. Uh, won't be long before I make another video. I'm probably about to actually make another video on how to snorkel these foolers. It ain't hard. Simple process. Simple steps. So not too worried about it. I'll catch you on next time. And I always remember, send it and don't die.